So a whopping 93% of businesses gain new customers thanks to branded content. And video is the number one source of information for 66% of your audience. Those are numbers you need to pay attention to. Those are audiences you need to be addressing, but only if your video works. So how do you know if it works? How do you know if your video is effective? Big question, huge challenge, and it's a challenge that my guest today solves every day for his customers. In this episode, we go to the source. We're talking to the CEO of Replay, a San Francisco-based company that helps brands maximize the performance of their videos via computer vision and AI. And my guest, Jao Vieira da Costa, CEO of that company, Replay, is here to tell us all about it. Jao, first of all, Thanks for coming and appearing here with me, being my guest. Hello, Peggy. Uh, it's a pleasure to be here. And, and thank you for inviting Replay. Um, so as you said, uh, we are exactly acting in that intersection between creativity and data to help any mobile publisher to thrive in this new IDFA world, as we have been, uh, IDFA deprecation world, as we have been talking about. Um, in a sentence, we understand why video works. So, you know, me and my co-founder, we used to grow uh, mobile apps in our career. We invested over $100 million in user acquisition. And there is a moment in which we understood, and I think all of us understood that the video was the most important piece. And when we saw on top of that, all of these impacts from IDFA deprecation on Apple and now on, on Google, we jumped right away to build replay. And uh, we are here to double down in exactly video through AI to understand why a certain video works, why it doesn't work for you. So we are 100% about video intelligence. Uh, we don't produce the video at all. This is something that we don't do. Uh, we help you understand which video to produce um, in the first place and, and why. So 100% based on, on data. There are a lot of analytics providers, to be fair, right? And they're all saying, oh, creative optimization will show you which elements work and which ones don't. So there's a lot of competition. And there's also a lot of ads, particularly for gaming apps. And I don't know, maybe they're just not reading the rules here because they're not even showing actual gameplay. I don't know how they do it or why they do it. Maybe it's just uh, seeing what works, what doesn't work. It definitely doesn't work on me in any case. Um, what are you doing to rise above that to have a voice in such a competitive space look, look this is a this is a great question like and, and look while we saw actually a lot of companies that are very good at video production meaning they produce video very fast and allow you to do that or they can also do like basic video analytics like color or text, or they can get manual tagging solutions. We never saw a product that could build you a full Google anal Analytics for, for video. Um, and that's why we built Replay. Um, it's where you can understand the visuals from your creatives with data in a visual appealing way as well. Uh, the product is very visual for people that don't deal with numbers as well, not only for data focused people. And it en ends up being the source of truth uh, in your company for creativity. And that's why the clients uh, call us the Google Analytics for, for video. Now, you are right. Uh, we are seeing a lot of random creations on, on ads. Um, and I believe this is the result of this, um, and this is the consequence of this approach that has been followed so far the spray and pray. Uh, it's, I think it's so-called spray and pray. And because there are so many good production companies out there, um, people have been spraying creatives and they have been praying for the results. Um, however, if you don't have um, clarity on why things work or not, if you don't have these Google Analytics on video to see what is what is really happening, then you will never be able to build a process and evolve. It's like you're doing R&D forever in the, in the dark. So we are here exactly to build that, to understand which video should you build and, and why. 
So I did a little bit of research, always do research before these shows, and I found your Web Summit uh, presentation, which I'll link to in the show <laughs> notes for everyone yeah. who's you know, listening. We can't describe it necessarily on audio. That's why we have a video version of the podcast. But I want to understand the computer vision. What does it do? What does it capture? Because you're capturing data right out of the video. I mean, in your presentation, awesome stuff. You did a presentation right after, ran it through replay, and replay was like, you know, thumbs up, thumbs down, this works, this doesn't. How does that work? Yes. Uh, look, very simply, we give computers this ability to recognize a specific element of a video, like if they have human's vision, but with their infinite memory. And that's where you get superpowers as a creative manager or as a user acquisition analyst. So our real secret sauce, our algorithm special ability and differentiation is that they're trained to a point that they can recognize any custom piece of creativity in any video in an automatic way. So I'm not talking about text or, or color or orientation or, or type of video. I'm talking about much more. We actually tag the video at the frame level. What you said is the Terminator-like <laughs> um, uh, aspect of it. And um, that allows us to recognize things such as a character of a game, like imagine Spider-Man or Batman or Mickey Mouse uh, or any influencer's faces, really. Uh, special backgrounds that you have. So we built this you know, artificial intelligence system uh, at Replay that is able to really adapt to any category of content within the mobile app ecosystem. That's really where we are focused on. It's not just your secret sauce. It's really where you're making a lot of investment. You've just made a huge investment into AI to build recommendation functions. What does that bring to the tech stack? that I or a marketer couldn't do, say, for example, manually or with a really good data science team? Yeah, it's true. Uh, what you say is true. And uh, people know that about replay. Uh, we can swallow the entire library of a publicly traded company in a week. And that means that we can understand, uh, you know, what is in their videos, but also we can correlate that immediately to past data and real-time data and produce results, produce um, these conclusions. So we not only automate all the tagging to reply to your, to your question, uh, but we also allow you to understand how each visual event of your video has contributed positively or negatively to the metrics. And I'm not talking about correlation. I'm talking about causality. And, and this is exactly what we focus on. So we can, for example, attribute clicks on a video or bounces of views when the, the user stopped seeing. We can attribute this to any visual, understand where was the cause, but at scale, if you think about all the visuals that a video has or not. And at the same time, we can identify elements that in completely distinct videos, there was only that common element that made the difference and you can get that for you. And, and you imagine this at scale in all the countries you're, you're present in, all the channels that you are advertising through and all the metrics that are, that are your source. So as you say, like the investment is a part of it, a big part of it. And we're obviously thankful for being backed by some of the best venture capital investors in, in the world across different venture capital rounds, one of them being months uh, ago. And that allowed us to have um, a pretty heavy, heavy investment in AI concentrated in a short period of, of time. And, and it actually, as you say, it allows us to, to get to the next level for sure. You got me thinking here as I digest this. I mean, one thing is to, of course, know what I'm doing, you know, what works for me. But then I'm also thinking about the way some marketers use analytics. You know, they use things like Apptopia to see what the other ads look like, you know, and get an idea of what the competition is doing. I mean, could I do that here? Could I say, hey, I've got, you know, product A or game A, but I really want to get to this point that I'm able to compete against this other company. And I say, don't look at my videos. I want you to swallow their library. 
and tell me what they're doing, and then I can figure out what I need to do. Does it work like that, or is it really just for me? That is an awesome, <laughs> an awesome question that I can and cannot answer right now. The answer. <laughs> Did I just give you a business model idea by any chance, Joe? <laughs> no, that's that's an amazing one. You know, that's the number one most asked feature at Replay, um, <laughs> and uh, that that is something that we are launching very soon. So. What I can say is stay tuned because uh, Replay is about to launch exactly what you what you're uh, what you're talking about. So, whatever mobile category you are in, we'll be able to tell you the best practices across the board in the entire world, uh, and you can do that tag wise for any category. Um, you can access uh, the beta, the beta version, if you are um, already a customer or if you become a customer of Replay until September 2022. Uh, but this is one of the big things in our plans, for sure. A really cool update coming to Replay. But let's talk about what we have right now. I like to understand how AI is making the judgment calls on video. I mean, I'm thinking about when I have to teach AI, even for that matter, voice recognition. You know, it's labor intensive at the start. How did that work? Do you have editors, people grading ads? Tell me about that process. Very, very interesting uh, one here. Um, first of all, Replay AI is trained 100% on data. Uh, so there's no human intervention here. And that is why uh, we are called this Google Analytics for, for video. So we're able to point out these outliers that have historically contributed to success or failure or which ones are contributing in real time. Uh, and there is no human intervention. So it is 100% fed by data of what has historically worked in that network or in that campaigns targeting that country or for that KPI completely across the board. Um, and what we built, therefore, is this huge brain that helps you think by never letting you miss a bit on what is working and, and where. So that the big change here is that it turns creativity into a process and learning process. Uh, there's a part of our product that uh, onboards new hires for our clients in which they go to learn uh, what are the tag categories that have worked best in the last month or in the last quarter or in the last year. And that's where they are onboarding these people. So make your creativity not a guess process, but actually a science and you go evolving and you go accumulating this, this knowledge. And we have been seeing that this puts you ahead in the game um, sometimes literally, and uh, it helps making creativity uh, this this process that evolves, makes you grow much faster. We see even improvements on the people, the persons themselves. We, we are empowering these creative managers and UA managers uh, because now they can have their eyes on, on everything. So this is how we are playing it here. And the timing is tremendous because all I hear about is creative optimization. You know, everything has to be around the creative because in a post IDFA world, that's where you have the control. And you talked about also, you can focus in on the KPIs. So I'd like to stay with that for a moment and talk about the metrics, the metrics that the mobile marketers, the app marketers are monitoring on their video ads and the ones that you're monitoring. I mean, is there a match? <laughs> yeah, uh, answer to that is very, very direct. Uh, we track them all. So all the metrics that you might be interested in on since the beginning of funnel, things like click through rate or IPM installs per thousand impressions until the end of the funnel, things like ROAS, return on ad spend, the 714, we correlate with all those metrics and you have the ability to even build your custom bundle, your custom blend metric at replay and get the AI to judge every visuals of your creatives according to your custom metric that you build. What about the tags? You're tagging everything, every frame. What does that mean when you look at what you're doing for a typical customer? Are they, are they taking advantage of this? Do they understand how to take advantage of it? Do marketers understand tags in video? Are they doing it right or what do they need to learn? Tags. Tags is uh, probably the most uh, 
the most used uh, word here at replay and tags at replay are very different from what you would expect anywhere else in the world and the reason is simple is because tags here are, are what you want you define the tags so there's no limit absolutely to what you can track i've been in our conversation we covered the way we invested and build our AI to that point. And you can think of a visual element. I don't know, Peggy, if you want to think about a visual element right now, as an example. You want me to come up with one, you mean? Yeah, come up with one. Well, and, we're, uh... talking, we're, we're talking so much about superheroes, so it would have to be some 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 Marvel superhero. Pick one. Maybe Thor. Exactly. Like new movie <laughs> exactly. That's perfect. That, that's exactly what that's I mean. So, <laughs> if you go with a superhero, that, that's exactly one of the tag categories that we have at replay. If you'd go with a with a special background or if you'd go with the special uh, element of your creatives that you've just introduced right now, all of that is a tag category automatically. So our, our product even is able to recognize those things automatically and suggest to you as a tag in case you're not uh, you're not tracking it. Like much like events on an MMP. And and here there is absolutely no limit. So the beauty is that then you can, after track it, you can understand what is the impact that that superhero that you're saying, Peggy, has uh, in the metrics. And metrics, again, as I said, are also across the board. It can be beginning of funnel or end of funnel or a mixture of, of both. I can tell you that um, for our customers, like the typical tag categories, of course, that we are present in gaming. So characters, like you said, super years are, of course, one of the most common ones. There's also um, the gameplay intention, which is something that is very used as to winning intention, uh, winning gameplay or losing gameplay. Um, it can is a tag that can go well with other things in video, can uh, change a lot the outcome of the creative, depending on how you combined it. And, and in our in our platform, one of the things you can do is exactly that, is analyze the combination. So which tags go best with what uh, and why. Um, so that other, another example of, of tag categories you can build are the influencers' faces, which obviously is super used nowadays in, in this influencer world. Um, and, and of course, sound-wise, there's also specific words or specific musics that our clients want to tag. And all of that is, is possible for you to customize. And we are talking about this from literally uh, one day to the other. You can create um, a tag by your own will, or you can let the AI recommend to you what you should be tagging. I'm just thinking of those combinations. That's really exciting as well, because it's sometimes, you know, the, the pieces are more than the whole. So um, you can see from both sides you're seeing basically a lot the pieces the whole the influencers the faces the music the characters from all of that i'd like you to draw for me a few best practices of elements or combinations that you're seeing just knock it out of the park because marketers always want to understand that you know great examples that they can yeah make their own that they can adapt to their own app or game for sure, and I, and I can for sure do that. Uh, I want to, to, to make the disclaimer here, like we talked in the first part, uh, that uh, will also go out, I think exactly what will go out in our beta version that is available right now and for customers that sign until September, it allows you to know per category what is exactly uh, working, what are the best practices, which tags to do in the first 10 seconds, the first three seconds, what are the best for Facebook, what are the best for Google, so on and so forth. Um, but I can unveil here a bit of, of the game. It starts also in exactly the combinations uh, page that you talked about. So the combinations page allows you, for example, let's say you want to, uh, for some reason, you want to give light to this character because it's a new version of the game that you just released, but you don't know uh, what to pair that character with. So in the combinations page is where we would give you this idea saying, okay, if you want to use this character in your video, these are the best uh, orientations of video to use with that, the best musics to use with that, the best any other uh, tag category to, to use with it, even the best influencers to use with that, if that's the case. So then it goes from here to a book of best practices that are recorded in the replay product. 
we have seen a lot in especially in now here talking a bit about the gaming world we have seen a lot of experiments for example with slow motion uh being one of the factors surprisingly um can can give you a, a lot of um a lot of results in the in the video uh, the pace is one of the elements that people don't uh, don't look at very often but it makes a huge difference as well uh, whether the pace is is a slow pace or is a fast place a fast pace or, or if it has variations uh, across the, the video. That is a very important one. And, and one of the things that we also saw that was a surprise is that when you have a heroes-based game, it's not always your main character that yields the, the highest results, but actually combinations in certain, um, in, in certain um, aspects with the secondary ca characters can actually be for certain targetings even much better performing than, than what you would expect in, in, in before testing. So I would say that in the end of the day, um, of course you should test, but you should always understand what is happening with all your tests. So you should have these eyes looking at everything that you do so that every dollar that you're spending is yielding, is yielding learnings for you, which are future earnings of the, of the next time, especially in this, at these times that you're losing signal everywhere and you want to build your own signal internally. And you want to build your own influencers. I'm just thinking again here, it's exciting that you can look at the influencers, recognize maybe not only who, but how they are engaging. And there's probably some best practices in just that, that interaction you know, what makes for a really good influencer who's hot who's not what what can you tell me about the people element it's great to know about the gameplay and the characters but but people faces influencers what can a marketer get from that yeah that's going to be a big part also of what we're going to release so uh, i i i don't want to to, to, to go in, in, in very specific things here, but we will have categories that allow you to look at for example uh what's going to be the best influence for each targeting that you are using, each country, each channel, and what is actually the types of um, music or sound level, if he's screaming, if he's not, what are the types of behavior that historically work best for each of the channels or each of the metrics that you want to, to, to reach out, if you want just reach with that video, or if you want to attract players that are more, uh, or, or in this case, users that are more um, suitable to, 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 your, uh, to your model, your profitability model, uh, then you will understand what are the types of behaviors that you have to showcase, in this case with the influencer in the video, that connect to that performance. So that will be split by categories in, in, in the product, uh, and it's going to be an um, an exciting one to to unveil. So so stay stay tuned if you are a replay customer. Well, here you go. You know you got to come back. You have to come back. We're coming to time now, but I always ask. You know, sort of like what's next? What do you expect over the next coming months? What's out there? What's exciting? Now we heard a lot about your company, so we know. Hey, there's a lot of cool stuff coming uh, after September and uh, and beyond. But overall. What do you expect out there? What do you see out there when you look at video ads? Other than growth, what's exciting? <laughs> um, the, we actually have a very clear vision about that, Peggy, and uh, I can share a bit with you. We, we believe that it is essential for the mobile market here, uh, especially in this so-called post-IEFA world, um, to build their own system of signal. So you cannot be dependent and you start to become uh, responsible to build your own signal. And we believe that uh, that will happen not only by looking at your internal uh, creatives like we're doing now, it puts you much ahead, but also to look at the best practices of the market in a scalable way. So that's where we believe Replay will have a, an edge. And you can look at the world of, for example, where in the past MMPs uh, issued this report with the industry information of um, and from now on, you can think about a future where that report will be essentially made with visuals. So, so tax. So visuals are the new ROAS, <laughs> essentially. It's what we believe in. So telling you the best tax, the best practices of building a video across networks, channels, countries, targetings, for any different metric goal that you have, this is what the future looks like for us. And visuals 
um, as the new KPIs uh, that the world is gonna is gonna prioritize. So we are already seeing major mobile developers setting trends, and they actually are pushing replay every day to the next level, and to understand how can we build this this own signal already with looking at your internal videos, and that is essential for the preparation to the world where you use the same tagging system to combine your own internal information with the world's. You got me here speechless and that doesn't happen very often. <laughs> really not. I'm just thinking about, you know, the visuals and the role and how that's going to change marketing and uh, and what a report will look like, um, which I hope you put out at some point. No pressure from me, but we're going to want this information, Joe. We really are. But in the meantime, how can my audience, our listeners, stay in touch with you? I mean, you've got a lot coming out and some best practices to share. Where's it all going to happen? Sure, um, you, you can you can reach out directly in case of a partnership. We have been uh, experiencing a lot of uh, requests uh, recently, especially with this beta that we've launched. Uh, of course, you can uh, reach us out uh, in our website, replay uh, with an I, replay.io. Um, and um, of course, you can request the demo. We have been pretty much busy the last times. The, the requests have been scaling a lot, uh, but we're doing our best to, to, to partner with the people, especially mobile uh, in the mobile app world. Any category of mobile app publishers, we are having a big impact and uh, we're very happy to, to, to help them grow. And I'm very happy you were on the show, taking the time, Joel, and above all, sharing this, lifting a lid a little bit on what's coming soon. Thanks so much. Thank you so much, Maggie. A pleasure to be here. And again, thanks for inviting Replay. Thank you. And of course, if you want to keep up with me throughout the week, find out more about how you can be a guest, you can email me, Peggy, Peggy at mobilegroove.com is where you can find my portfolio of content marketing and app marketing services. So remember, until next time, every minute is mobile, so make every minute count. Keep well, and we'll see you soon. Mm -hmm.